I need to expand this. I'm going to make this just as, as fucking huge as possible. So I guess to that end, let's make some more seared bricks. Um, oh, that'll mean I'll need to make an actual casting basin. Man, everything needs everything else, doesn't it? Um, let's toss 64 of those in here. First things first. <laughs> wow. That'll give you an idea of the capacity of that thing. Let's wait for that to smelt itself up. And I'll like, give us an idea of how much lava it drains. So, we got our means of producing power. We got a coal generator. Which we can put right at the end there. Now, gotta have a few more things in this production line, because it's gonna go as such. This thing generates power, and then we'll have. Well, we'll start with over there. I'll move a cobblestone generator to here, which is generating cobblestone. Cobblestone will go to an auto hammer, which will break it down into gravel. Then it will go to an auto sieve, which will turn it into. which will sieve it. And then maybe a compressor, if not, just a chest on the end. And then we'll just leave that running away, and that will just be generating some base metals for me while I'm off doing more exciting shit. So. Auto hammers are an odd one. Um, for an auto hammer, they're quite easy to make. Um, but, as you can see, oh my god, that's giant. You need a diamond hammer, so we need two pieces of diamond. I believe we currently have no pieces of diamond. So that's an issue. Diamond is got by running gravel through an iron sieve. Um, but it's only a 1% chance of it. Running gravel through a diamond sieve yields a much higher percent chance of it, but obviously we've not got a diamond sieve. Um, so, I just need to smash up some cobblestone, basically. So, where is my hammer? There's my hammer. Let's get cracking. Because the nice thing about having an auto-hammering setup is it will reduce the need for... for having a hammering area like this. Which is very handy. Because this is ugly. I guess there's no harm in using cobblestone, because I have a lot of it to be used. So, that's quite a good situation to be in. I can just basically go mental with this and produce an absolute crap ton of gravel and then just get to sieving. Uh, no, I'll just put them there. And let's go to the shed and get another builder's wand. Cool. There are better setups you can make for, oh, for doing hammering. Um, oh, can I just break this all with the treeper just to get rid of it? Hey, there we go. Um, yeah, there are better setups for building stuff quickly using um, ones for doing this hammering. But I'm not even really, really going to bother investing in them because I'm hoping to have an auto set hammer set up as soon as possible. I basically place down all that. I've got all, that is all the cobblestone I've got for now. Hey, raining. Which is handy because I'm about to run out of hunger. Nom, I mean, I could, nom, just, nom, 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 nom. could just eat stuff. Um, let's get this out of the way. Excuse me. There you go. There you go. Right, what we got? Some carrots. Got a fair bit of wheat kicking around. Of course, farming can also be automated, and that, that, that'll be a useful thing to do. Can I use potatoes for anything? I can make a potato bag. I can make a poisonous potato. That implies that... Oh, there's such a thing as a culinary generator. You put food into it, and it generates electricity. Oh, I can make soups, cellular blocks, shepherd's... Oh, shepherd's pie. I love shepherd's pie. This is all just food stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, potato pot stock. Uh, can I just eat a potato? Right, because I feel like in real life eating a raw potato is really dangerous. Because um, it is. I can make just make bake bake potato though. I'm gonna bake these potatoes. Oh my god. Oh, I could do with a baked potato in real life. Actually, I'm kind of hungry now. Man. Okay, let's break this shit down. Ooh, that goes one hammer, and bam, there goes another hammer. That was cool. Right, let's sift this gravel and then get back to it. So it's worth noting, sieving gravel through an iron mash has a 1% chance of dropping a diamond, so here I've got more than 100 gravel, so probabilistically I should get a diamond out. That doesn't mean I'm guaranteed to gamble as fallacy, but it's likely. I also get a crap ton of other metals, though it must be noted, gravel through an iron sieve does preclude some of the... Oh, I've got one diamond, excellent, it does preclude some of the fancier metals, so I'm getting a lot of iron, a lot of lead, gold, nickel... I'm noticeably not getting any copper, aluminium, or silver you don't get out of iron meshes. Which is a shame, because I have got a use for copper. Um, but this is the only way to get diamond, for now. Gravel through an iron mesh or a diamond mesh are the only ways of getting diamond, and that's diamond is really limiting early game. I don't know, well, it's not limiting, but it's a sense of like, Oh, got two diamonds, excellent, that can make me auto-hammer. 
it's what you want a lot of diamond is. So. Oh. Feel that boom. Hopefully it won't strike anywhere on my base, because my base is made entirely out of flammable materials. Actually, it should be fine, because it's rain as well, so hopefully those fires won't spread. I don't want to find out the answer to that, actually. See, this is the thing. What I'm doing at the moment with, like, mass hammering and sieving will always tend to be faster than automating, but you have to devote your entire attention to it. So while I'm building or something like that, it's going to be nice to have the sieving going on in the background. How many diamonds have I got? Three diamonds. Excellent. I'm actually doing better than average. Alright, that's everything sieved. How do we do? Got a lot of gold. Got three diamonds out, that's the crucial part. Um, but also got some more ore chunks, didn't I? Right, uh, okay, let's put the diamonds in that chest along with lapis. Uh, a bit of coal that I got out. That's all very nice. Ooh, these wood chip. Oh, of course, wood chippings can be compressed to make dirt. They can be composted. And I've actually got a shit ton of wood hang hanging around. That's worth, that's worth remembering, that is. Right. So I'll put the silver, the copper, and the aluminium back in there. Cause yeah, they're the ones we didn't get any out of um, this, but... Ah, yes, this is now a lot more ready to roll. Got a lot of seared stone, three blocks of it. Can you make ingots of seared stone? Uh, let's put it on the bottom and see. Yes, you can. Is that just a seared brick, then? Hey! That'd just be extremely slow to sit here and milk them all out of it manually. Blocks are quicker. But for that, we'll need to actually cast the blocks. I mean, I can do that. As long as I'm from doing that. Um, for now, let's melt down some more iron and such. Because iron's going to be what I need for now. I'll leave gold, lead, and nickel for now. Because they're not actually the most useful. And let's slap some iron in there. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's make gold, lead, and nickel as well. Because I know they're not going to alloy, so... Alright. Then into here we shall. Put ah, my goodness, that scared the scared the shit out of me. Um, let's put them through there. What uses of black quartz got? I can make black quartz armor, lens, lens of the miner, item filter. Ooh, that's quite handy. Item filter. I guess that's for sorting out systems and stuff. Different colored lamps. That's quite cool. Yeah, I'll look into that more later. For now, I think I'll just put it away in this chest with all the other gobs. Right, so this needs to be extended a little bit to have a basin so I can properly make... I mean, these bricks are relatively quick to make like this. But then I got those each four of these is giving me one, whereas... Yeah, i got to have a basin for this, I think. Right, so that means I need a couple of things. I need... Woo Damn it. Damn it! There we go. Because it's getting nearly full in there. My goodness. Um, okay, well, it's half full, but still. Still, oh, look at that, look how much iron that is. Three locks and five ingots. Yeah, casting it into ingots is handier for, like... Cause the, is the issue with casting it into... Oh, my goodness. The issue with casting it into blocks is it means you have to have however many make a block. You have to have nine multiples of nine in there, and if you don't, the rest just kind of sits in there, so... Um, I'm going to run and get some more wood for this. I'm going to build out to the maximum size the smeltery can be, and then build floor down from there, so... We can go another one... Two, three in that direction, and there's only bottoms, and then I've already built out maximum this way, haven't I? Oh no, that's only two. We can technically go one, two, three, and then I want to build around the edge there as well, so I can pull it back. I can still walk along here, which will be nice. Ah. Yeah, so this thing can be 9x9, nine nine, it's currently like 3x5, so I can get a lot bigger on this fucker. So that's 1, 2, 3, and then the edge will be here. And we curve it around that way, I believe. Still gonna be a bit of an ass to work on the bottom of it, but hey. Right, so. For now, I just want to build a basin to speed things up a little bit. So, how do we do that? Basin, we need a lot of seared bricks. Not enough seared bricks that I have, so let's turn these back into... How do I turn them back into stone? Oh, that's a bit annoying. Fuck it, let's just cast them out. As many as we need, so... Oh, nearly walked off the edge there. So, that's seven. And so I believe we go over to a... Crafting table. And we put them all in a line around there. We get a casting basin. We still need another drain and another faucet, don't we? Okay, we'll build this basin. That means I'm going to have to expand this out there even more. This is going to be a huge area, actually, the more I'm thinking about it. Because um, I want space to walk around it separately of any kind of casting bits. So the basin will want to go 
there. Then this needs to be a drain and a with a faucet on it. I can't remember how to make the drain. The faucet is just three in a square. Drain is six of them, so I need nine more. Okay. So that's worth knowing. Everything other than the actual parts are all made with bricks rather than ingots. Uh, like the individual bricks make all the parts for the smeltery, ah, rather than like the structural bricks. Ah, that's lead. That's lead. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I guess I might as well cast some of the lead that's in there. That means we clearly need more seared bricks in there, so let's grab a lot more stone. Where's my stone maker? There we go. That's already back up to full. That's fantastic. Let's slap that in there. Ah, I suppose in the meantime, I might as well cast some of this stuff. Ah, excellent. It's liquefied. So, I need to put that on the bottom. Ooh, a lot of tree growth over there. Looking forward to tri trimming that down. Strimming! Not even a word. Right, now we need another... I should have put the smeltery so far away from where I'm planning on building the um, automator, because ideally you'll then have the ores and that being piped straight into the smeltery and liquefy and cast. This can all be automated and it's super exciting, um, but for now, not on the cards. Why have I got two crafting tables? Oh, I don't care. Um, there must have been a reason at some point. Right, we need a drain. That's a faucet. And we need a drain. That's a drain. Excellent. Right, now we can just break this, which will briefly appear to destroy everything that's in the smeltery. I assure you, it hasn't. There you go, it comes back. It kind of holds, it remembers what's in it. So, now we can cast stuff by the block, which is much better. So we'll start by casting this iron, because we've got three blocks here and five ingots worth. So, let's cast a block, cast an ingot. As you can see, the block not, will take fast slower to fill up, and it'll also cool a lot slower. But it's still, I think, faster than filling it with, um, than doing a load of ingots one at a time. I don't know, maybe. I suppose you can run multiple drains as well. Um, let's get some more cobblestone warming up in there. Right, that's ready to pop out that iron. Oh, look at that, a whole block of iron. That's wonderful. I'm going to need more drains on this thing. I guess that's the advantage of having it this size, is I can just fill the entire edges of it with drains and basins and stuff. And I plan to. I mean, I'll need a roughly equal amount of tables and basins, I think. Um, but I can do that. But in case you didn't realise, a block is made of nine ingots, so you can just turn a block into nine ingots, and vice versa. I need to find a way of converting between seared bricks and seared stone, because that's probably going to be important. Right, now I've melted a lot more of that, we've got six blocks of seared stone, so we can cast that straight into there. And start that process going. Why am I doing this at the moment? I guess I was just processing some metal. I only need a diamond, so actually I don't need to do this right now. But I guess it's handy to do. I should probably have set my automation running in the background before doing any of this. So yeah, you can see why this is considered a less efficient way of um, making seared bricks, because it is. No question about it. Because then, yeah, we make, once we've got four of these seared stone blocks cast from here, then we mix them together into square. And it doesn't do what I thought. Okay, how do I... Oh, do I just run... How do I make seared bricks recipes? Okay, that's an annoying system. So you need to turn them into seared pavers, then turn seared pavers into seared bricks. So it still does it. It's just a slower process that way, but that is kind of handy, I guess. Right, let's keep that topped up with cobblestone. Yeah, also, it's, these things can hold a lot more liquid than they can raw materials to be melted, which is kind of annoying, but also kind of makes sense. Right, so let me just place that there. That there. And right there. Preparing for expansion. And then we put that, that, and that. And then we can break these ones here. Not quite, because we need one on the corner there. And one on the corner there. And that shouldn't fuck with the shape once we've got all of them sorted. Don't want to end up in the smeltery, obviously, when it's when it's full of liquid, because that's quite dangerous. Um Turns out, it's hot in there. Oh, and as you may have noticed there, physically chucking stuff in manually, as in, like, just by going Q, that's not Q, there we go, will cause it to be added in. So you can just, rather than piping stuff, if you're ever automating it, rather than piping it into there, you can just have it so it just dumps the material in there, which is 
quite handy. More slots for melting by making it bigger, which is which is all well and good. Now, I'm going to hammer away the remainder of this stuff and see if that is gravel, which means I need another hammer, which means I need wood. <laughs> that went well. Sieve the remainder of this gravel. Ooh, I got a diamond out of it. Excellent. Pretty a fair few diamonds, actually. I think my, my long-term plan will be to automate the entire hammering and sieving process, so have basically hammers and auto sieves lined up such that it kind of churns through um, so it kind of churns through everything through every sieve which gets me all the materials I require which would be amazing um, but is a is a long-term goal definitely um, I can actually turn most of these straight off into what I need let's put three lead back actually no basically I only want to take them out in chunk and units of divisible by four um, because otherwise then they, they won't make chunks anyway, so... Well, it's worth noting, there's no way to make seared bricks from seared stone. You kind of can't make them back, so if you want the bricks you do have to cast them manually this way, which is a bit a little slow for large amounts. So I'm probably going to set this up so there's another block producing drain here. I'm also going to put these up. I mean, the easiest thing to do actually would have just been to entirely pave underneath it. I'll do that. No need to put walls where there doesn't need to be an edge. And just like that, bam, got another another basin. So that's pretty cool. Slap some of those in there. Oh, that's so cool. That's the advantage as well of having bi physically bigger um, Tinker's things is that they can not only hold more gubs for melting down, so two ingots to that left, but also you've got a lot more potential output ports. Out ports, I don't know what to call them, really. Right, I'll be back to finish this later. For now, I need to make some stuff. I've got a lot of metals, so I'm going to make things. Uh, I need some iron with me. Oh, that's really, there's, there's cast wood iron I've got, so I've got two blocks and three ingots. One, two, and then we'll just set these casting. Oh, look at it pouring out, that's so cool. So it's two blocks and three ingots, was it? Um, yeah. And so then by the time those have cooled... Oh, that's so cool. Ha! Ah, well, that's not actually quite warm. That's part of the problem. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. Right, I'm going to... Oh. oh, no. There we go. We're okay. <laughs> Briefs. Brief freeze there. Don't know what I did, but... I figured out what I did wrong with this fucker as well. I'll deal with that later. Um, yeah, you have to do it in a stone barrel, which is different to a crucible. I learnt this the hard way. Well, not the hard way, just made a bit of a mild twat of myself. Right. Uh, might as well cast some gold while we're here. Gold is sometimes useful in machinery and things like that. So cool to see it pour out. Oh my god, I'm just nerding out over this way too much, aren't I? Right, let's grab... Well, let's turn these irons into ingots and grab the iron we need from in here. Now! Let's talk about Tweetle Beetles. <laughs> Who gets that reference? No, let's talk about hammers. So, I need a diamond hammer, first things first, to make an auto hammer. Um, so, need two diamond there. And I don't want to make diamond shears, that'd be a bit embarrassing. Diamond hammer. So, now how do we make an auto hammer, you say? Hammer. We just need weighted pressure plate heavy. Iron ingots and a diamond hammer. So those are just made from that, so we just need two of those. So basically the main usage is just, it just needs diamond and it just needs iron, it just needs a lot of iron. And just like that, bam, got an auto hammer. So, I'm going to basically make sure I keep topping this thing up with cobblestone just so that it's making seared stone. Ooh, nickel. One block and four ingots. Okay. Let's cast the block of nickel, I suppose, and then we'll cast the ingots over here. Could pull all the metals out of here for now. Just so I've got more space for stone. Right, so we've got to leave spaces between stuff to allow both power and items to flow, I think. So, start by putting the auto hammer down here, because this will be the beginning of stuff. Now, I believe stuff that's physically touching can share power, so this might be able to start powering anyway. Um, we'll take some oak wood. How long does actual normal wood burn for? Also burns for 300. Um, 
but I think it gets more, I'll just put the raw wood in, it's not like we have any shortage of wood anyway. So, that'll start generating. Um, so, um, is that now spreading to this? It is, well let's find out, we'll put some cobblestone in there. Nope, it is not spreading out, so that's worth knowing. So, we'll need wires. Wires are a whole different load of bollocks. Okay, well, we're going to need things for that, so I'm going to actually now will focus on fully expanding the smeltery because we need a lot of smelting to go down for that. Right, well that's the smeltery now up to as wide as it can be, but it can be three times as deep. So that'll be well cool. Let's get some of this lead out of there. Actually, if I just put another couple of lead in there, I can do it as a block. Now, so for stuff that's going to carry power, we need a couple of important things. The biggest of which is we need redstone. Because we need to make conductive alloy, um, which uses redstone. So, ooh, big potatoes, happy days. Um, so, redstone we get by sifting dust. Dust's an arse to make, so time for a hammering montage. Can I make leaden tools? Um, oh, I can cast some lead into a block now. Um, I wonder. This is lead and nickel the ones I've got the most of, and I wonder if there's anything I can just do with them to make cheaper stuff. Nickel, I can't really. Or lead. Now, buckets are the main use of lead, I suppose. Oh, I can make a skillet. That's great. I'm sure there's some use of these eventually, but... i to make sheets of stuff. Who knows? Okay, I'll stick with stone hammers for now. Then. I mean, I've got enough iron to make iron hammers. Uh, I've got 44 iron, so... Soon I can start forging them with the Tinker's stuff. Um, not yet, though. A lot more space in the smeltery, so we can slap a lot more cobblestone in there in one now, and let's melt that up, ready for expansion. It's ironic, I'm just using this smelter to smelt things in order to expand the smeltery. <laughs> but hey, once it's a f wow, full footprint size, I believe they can go up to 16 tall as well, so it's going to be ludicrous. Anyway, let's sift some of this dust and hope we get a decent amount of redstone out. Uh, apparently we got, oh, one redstone. We got a redstone after all of that. Oh, another one. Apparently it launched over here. Do I have any redstone just hanging around? Got four hanging around. Okay, so let's try and make some stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is, first things first, I'm going to slap the redstone in there. Which seems like a strange move, but basically we need to make conductive iron, which you make from mixing um, redstone with iron. You can do that through a alloy smelter, which is like a device like a furnace or something like that, or you can just do it straight in here, um, and they'll mix up quite nicely, because conductive make liquid, con molten conductive iron, uh, which we make by bit of redstone, bit of iron in that kind of ratio, so we need a bit more iron, so I'll get some iron and start floating that in here as well. So I think we need slightly more iron, so... Cool, let's leave that to liquefy. While that's liquefying, I'm going to do some expansions. So, while that's all smelting away, I'm going to make a little addition to this bit over here, because I want all the wiring, if possible, to be out of sight underneath um, everything. So, that requires me to go underneath, which will look quite cool, hopefully if I can do it right. Let's break this. That's the advantage of having stuff raised up, is that I can can go underneath it with relative ease. You would think. Right. Oh my goodness, why am I up here? There we go. Right. This isn't going to quite work, is it? Because I'm slightly too high. Oh dear, didn't think of this, did I? Um, well then. You know, if I'm clever with placement, I should be able to do this anyway. Which I'm probably not going to be knowing me, because I've got to access it from the side. But, hey. Right, if I then put a wall along there, 
basically just run power cables in a straight line underneath where all the machines will be, and they should all draw nice and equally from it, hopefully. There we go, so I can place stuff along there. That'll that'll do for wiring. So Actually we can just do it along the floor level. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Do it along the floor level. Um Well I guess I got this floor in place now anyway, so even if I don't use it, still handy to have. Let's break through some of that sand so I can actually get up here. I guess this will be handy for like I'll just make a floor out of it anyway, just for gathering shit that just falls down here. Oh, that was stupid. So, this is where I want the wire to run. So, I can just do that for when I'm ready to build it. Which is nice. So, I've got this little access port for wiring. Cool. I'm thinking ahead. Right, now let's see if stuff's smelted down properly. It has! Excellent! So, I've got still got a bit of extra iron in there, but I've got six ingots of conductive iron. So, let's cast them. It's going to be very slow. Right, that's the conductive iron done. So, what I need to make is... Conduit. I need to make... Energy conduit. So, we make it by putting conductive iron through conduit binder. Conduit binder we make by smelting binder composites. Um, binder composite we make with gravel, clay, and sand. I think I have all of them hanging around. I've definitely got sand, well, one sand, a sand. Okay, looks like it's time for some hammering. Um, let's make an iron hammer. It's only really small scale hammering, I think. Uh, okay, so I need that. Make those. Right, so, I'm gonna need to place some of that. Might as well hammer these things to dust just to get them out of my way. Ooh, that was quick. Bloody hell. Right then, so I need to make some gravel. I shouldn't have turned those to dust because it would have been much quicker if I had left them. Oh well. And then let's turn some of this gravel into sand. Right. Now, conduit binder, binder composite. Oh, I need to be in a bloody crafting table, obviously. I could also use lava as a power source. I'm not doing so at the moment, but you can get lava generators, which will be handy. And I may well do a lot of that in the future. I'm making a lot of seared stone. I don't even know if I need anywhere near this much. How many seared stone blocks have I got? 18? Okay, maybe. Certainly no harm to have that much potential capacity. Um, right. D -d -d. Right, need a this thing, and I need to make composite conduit stuff. Find a composite. Okay, cool. We've got 24 of those. Now I believe I cook it, do I? Yeah, cook it to make conduit binder. Cool. Set that running. Cool. Right, so that's going to get electricity. Well, that's sorted out. We need a few more things. Firstly, we need an auto sieve. So, an auto sieve is very easy to make, you just need a sieve, blocks of iron, iron and glass. Glass is going to be the awkward part of that. Um, I have to stop it making conduit binder briefly and make... Wait, hold on, how to make a glass pane? You need six glass, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Um, does mini charcoal not burn sand or something? Or do I make glass by a different route nowadays? Nope. There we go. I seem to remember doing something like that last time. Hmm. Most queer. Ah! Hmm. Right, let's try a bit of expansion of this. So, let's set this to maximum size. So we need one, two, three. And then... Um, one, two, three. And then four, five, six. I will need to turn that into a square. Holy shit, this is going to be fucking gigantic. Um, I'm gonna have to use wands for the size for building this thing on this scale. Oh my god. Well, okay, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to melt a lot more stone down. I thought I was going a bit mad with it. Turns out not. <laughs> 